welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie. Today I have for you a one brand tutorial using mostly ColourPop. Not necessarily all ColourPop because ColourPop doesn't have everything, but I did use mostly ColourPop and I am obsessed with the results. This is basically my go-to look for events. Funny enough, it's my first time trying out ColourPop. I mentioned that on my Insta stories and many of you guys were shocked. I've been testing it out for this past week and I am so hooked. They're super affordable, super pigmented, and I just love absolutely how it turned out. Before I jump into the tutorial, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by ColourPop. I feel completely blessed being able to work with a brand that I'm currently obsessed with. As always, all opinions are my own. I hope you guys enjoy this look though. If you want to watch how I turn from basic to this, keep on watching. Alright, so I already applied my foundation. As always, all the products are going to be listed down below. ColourPop doesn't have a foundation right now, which I'm hoping they come out with a formula similar to their concealer because I am completely obsessed with this concealer. But after my foundation, I usually always move on to my brows and I'm going to be using the Precision Brow Pencil. I have it in black and brown and jet black i believe yes jet set black if you guys have been following me for a long time you would know that i actually prefer pomade for my brows but for this video i'm going to be trying out this pencil and see how it works it actually seems pretty precise which i love super tiny and easy to do that feather like brows which usually doesn't really come out for me i low-key hate doing my brows it's just the hardest part i'm not going to talk too much and just fast forward this part for you guys All right, with a little bit of concealer, I'm going to be cleaning it off. Brows are finally ready. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the No Filter Concealer. I honestly don't know where I've been without trying this concealer. I mentioned on Snapchat that it was actually my first time using ColourPop. I'm currently with no words. This low-key is my favorite concealer to date. It's a lot to say. I just absolutely love the look, the feel, and the fact that it doesn't crease and also brightens under the eyes so nicely it blends really really nicely as well and then the fact that these products from ColourPop are so affordable it's mind-blowing to me all right so with a sponge i'm just going to be blending that away i'm never too gentle with this step which maybe i should you know because i'm almost 25 and they say that you should start early taking care of your under eyes and stuff so by the way, I don't think I mentioned, but I use medium under my eyes. I also have medium deep and golden. Golden is not as golden or dark as I thought it was going to be. These are all really, really similar, but my favorite shade right now is medium to brighten under the eye. All right, so taking some loose powder, I'm going to be setting that. I'm low-key nervous that I'm wearing the outfit that I'm going to be wearing tonight while doing my makeup. Maybe not the best idea. I'm going to be adding some of that right in my nose area just because it makes it a lot easier for me to contour and then i'm just going to quickly bronze my face all right and then let's just remove that so for my eyes i'm using the give it to me straight palette and these are definitely up my alley i absolutely love the colors i also feel like this will be a perfect palette for valentine's day and let me tell you guys these eyeshadows are so so pigmented not even joking especially that gold one when i swatched it i was like all right as the transition color i'm going to be using this shade right here which is called truth hurts it sure does <laughs> And by the way, by that, I mean like all over the eyes kind of deal. You know what I mean? Especially like in the crease. Just so everything can blend nicely together. I am also going to be adding just a little bit of that under the eyes. For my lid, I'm taking straight up which is a bronzy shade. I usually like applying the shade that I'm using in my lid with my finger just because to me it applies the best. And to be honest, I'm not really too precise, you know what I mean? So, oh my god. Wow. I mean, just like that, to me it already looks like a look, you know? I kind of want to make this a smoky eye today, so I am using the darkest shade, which is called Actually. Let me just say I'm obsessed with these names. And then with a clean brush, I'm just going to be blending for a good minute.
and then taking some more of that actually i'm applying it also in my lower lash line and connecting it together all right so for my inner corner i'm taking my absolute favorite shade of this palette which has to be up front because i'm telling you guys probably the best gold i've used all right, so I ended up lining my eyes. I did a small cat eye look and I also added some falsies, which will be listed down below for you guys. Moving on to highlight, I'm using the In Nude Endo Highlight Palette. That's what it looks like. It brings six different shades. I'm going to quickly swatch all of the... Like, what? That's insane. That is insane. Oh, yeah. Wow. Actually, let me also swatch for you guys the bottom three. Are you seeing that right now? That's basically the entire palette in my arm. I'm hooked. Now, blushes. I've heard only great things about ColourPop blushes. I have Between the Sheets, which is matte and like a pinky coral shade definitely of my alley and then drop of a hat which has a pearly effect it's more of an orangey shade i think i'm going for this one today i've used between the sheets and i love it it's so good for like an everyday kind of blush i really like this one because it blends perfectly with the highlight you know what i mean like it's just not highlight is all glowy now lip products i have five right here these are the ultra matte lip i've actually never used their liquid lipsticks before and i'm so so excited because again only heard great things about their liquid lipstick all right that's what they look like right there i don't even think you guys could see exactly but i think i'm going to be using the second over here which is called up all night so i'm going to be lining my lips first as always I'm also liking this one right here for today's look, which is called What You're Doing. Oh yeah, this one's perfect. Alright, so I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to set my face. Alright, so here is the finished look. It's basically my go-to for events. I'm really digging the ultra matte lipstick, especially the shade. The highlights... Are you kidding me right now? The Innudendo palette, it's insane. As you guys saw from the swatches, I am obsessed with Le Glow. And then for my eyes, I really love the Give It To Me Straight palette. Super pigmented, and I really love the shades as well. The blush, definitely one of my top. Like I mentioned, it has a pearly finish and more of a coral kind of shade i also really like the brow pencil it's super precise but my top 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 favorite product has to be hands down the concealer i am so super duper impressed with the no filter concealer oh my gosh guys like where have i been all this time why haven't you guys been telling me about this i mean it's super popular on social media and many many people have loved it i'm just so glad that i finally have it in my hands definitely recommend it as always all the products are going to be listed down below so make sure to check that out i hope you guys enjoy this video and until next time so anyways okay so 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 whoa 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 I'm obsessed.